Politecnico di Milano has a strategy to cooperate with uh, companies at all levels, uh, both internationally and nationally, in terms of research cooperation. We never speak about technology transfer, but always about technological cooperation, in which we try to put together researchers and uh, in the companies and in the university uh, to try to solve the problems that uh, companies in companies emerge uh, in terms of uh, research. Uh, we have a different uh, type of cooperation depending on the size of the company and the level of the integration of the uh, research. Uh, the workshop has been a, a great opportunity to put uh, together industry and academic uh, excellence. We had the chance uh, to talk about uh, the role of the semiconductor industry and in particular uh, about the enabler uh, factor represented by semiconductor memories which in fact uh, are today becoming uh, a, the, a primary differentiation, differentiating factor for, uh, for the handset. Uh, there is a, a number of growing uh, uh, intensive uh, memory workloads uh, in the mobile uh, arena. Key point is that uh, NAND and DRAM will be a primary, a primary source for the mobile, mobile market that will absorb something like 40% of the total demand in bit of these two incumbent technologies in the memory area. Today we've been talking about mobile device and the importance of low power there, but clearly it's all about the thermal envelopes and the power consumptions that different markets consume, and this is where ARM's low power technology is uh, coming uh, to the front of uh, the semiconductor business. The challenge, however, is not just one of processes. It is very much a systems challenge, and uh, I'm an advocate for the systems approach to low power compute. ARM, of course, has uh, components in the general purpose processing that is well known, but obviously to be able to bring low power through graphics, through to the uh, video subsystems, ARM also brings technologies across the GPU, uh, the display controller, and more recently, uh, video up to the 4K uh, secured data streaming capability as well. Actually, nowadays, uh, security, it's important because we use those devices for accessing bank accounts, for storing uh, private data, which are not only contacts or private emails, but medical data, because the device is connected to body area sensor network and those things. And the fact that uh, security is important for mobile devices raises the challenge that mobile devices are also battery operated and require to address security, which is uh, already a big challenge with the constraint of the battery which is inside the mobile device and we don't have the power of do what we do in the server usually.